Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are on our way out to the shop today in this beautiful minus 12 degrees Celsius weather and we're going to be taking apart um, my 300 cubic inch inline six engine. We're going to disassemble it and get it ready to head out to the machine shop. So if you saw part one of my engine rebuild series, you'd know that I was trying to, to decide whether to uh, replace, repair, or fully rebuild this engine. Uh, you can check out that video in the link up here, but spoiler alert, I decided to rebuild. So I talked to my machine shop and they want me to bring in the engine uh, disassembled. So they would like the block, they would like the head which is back here, they want me to take the pistons and rods off, take out the crank. Um, not sure if the camshaft has to come out or not, but I'll probably just take it out. Doesn't hurt. Um, and they don't need any of this front dress or the distributor or fuel pump, anything like that now. Um, but I may bring that in if I want them to clean it up. They can run it through their parts washer. So anyways, what we're going to do today is we're going to just tear this engine apart. So let's get started by taking apart the front dress of the engine. We'll move on to the side and remove the distributor and fuel pump and fuel filters. And we'll move on to this side and remove any remaining heat shields and the like. And then we'll get into the internals. that these are uh, main bearing caps, these guys. There's, I believe, seven on this engine. Three, four, five, six, seven. And these need to stay labeled from one to seven. And then the connecting rods and the associated bearings and the pistons also need to be labeled one to six. Um, they all are matched to individual places in the engine. So they have to be, they have to stay in their respective spots. So we're going to go ahead and start at 1, we'll uh, leave the main bearing caps on for now, deal with that later. We'll take off the bolts for the connecting rods, uh, take off this half of the rod, and then we'll be able to tap the piston out the bottom, and that's about it.
Thanks for joining me as I disassembled this engine today. The next step for this thing is to take it to the machine shop where the machinist will do a thorough investigation on all of the parts and determine what level of machining is required before we can start reassembly. Once we've got the machining done, we'll make some decisions on parts to install and we'll go from there. So stay tuned for more. If you like this video, please, please do subscribe to my channel down there and boop the like button if you enjoyed it, uh, just so more people like yourself can find my content. Thanks very much and have a really great day.